You know that sticky feeling you get when you try to play a guitar with a glossy neck? Today we're going to fix that with a couple items you can pick up at your local hardware store. I've done this hack on both poly and nitro guitars and it works great in both instances. Stick around. To do this we're going to need the following. Naphtha or some other type of cleaner. Masking tape, a few paper towels, and a green Scotch-Brite pad. You definitely want to get the green ones because they are the correct grit for this application. First thing you want to do is clean the neck. We don't want any grime or waxy buildup or anything like that on the back of this neck for uh, when we do this process. So I'm going to open up my naphtha. Paper towel. I'm using naphtha, but you can use any guitar polish or cleaner uh, as long as there's no wax in it. Okay, get this nice and clean. I've done this to this guitar before, but it's uh, since gotten a little glossy again from my playing it, so we're going to do it again. Next, we're going to use masking tape to set the edges of the area that we want to gloss. We're going to do it up here. Nice crisp line. And we're going to do it down by the neck heel. I'm going to try to follow the lines of where the neck meets the body just to try to get it to look the best that I can. I think that's a pretty good angle right there. Perfect. Next, we're going to get the Scotch-Brite pad right here. Um, you want a very small amount of water on this. You want to, you know, wet it and then squeeze it and shake it out to get almost all the water out. And the reason that we do that is to keep the dust down. So we're going to take our pad, we're going to put it like this so that the whole surface of the neck is going to get done with each pass. And we're going to go the long ways with the neck. You don't want to go like this. That'll put lines in it and you'll be able to notice that it doesn't look very nice. This way looks much better. Going long ways with the neck. You don't want to put too much pressure, just a little bit. And this actually only takes a couple minutes. The stuff cuts quick, deglosses it, and this is going to play like a million dollars when we're done. And as we go, you can see uh, like the water that was on the Scotch-Brite pad is adhering to the back of the neck and it's kind of grayish in color from the particles of poly that were taken off. Really doesn't take long at all. All right, next thing we're gonna wanna do is get a dry paper towel. dry this off so that we can inspect it to make sure that we got all of the areas. Okay, I can see right here there's still some gloss. So I'm going to take this and again make sure I go the direction of the neck. Paper towel. Perfect. Same thing over on this side. Little glossy area right here. We we'll touch it up. Make sure we go in the right direction. Just a few passes, maybe 10 seconds, if that. And 
we are done. We're gonna peel the paint off, or the tape I mean. Peel the tape off. I hope the camera can pick this up, but we have a nice sharp line there, both at the headstock and at the neck heel. I'll try to show it. See there? You can see where the glossy area stops and the matte finish begins. And this thing feels super comfortable now. It's gonna be easy to play. No matter how sweaty you get, it's not going to, your hand's not going to stick to it. And it's going to make shifting positions a lot easier. I hope this helped. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.